Hamilton and go to parties with the movie stars. Ride around in a big sports car and finish 18 under par. I've been drinking gin, drive a move. I am ashamed and embarrassed and angry of the actions of our government. I think Trump is harmful to the world and I think he's harmful to democracy. And I think he's only out for himself. And I hope he goes to jail when this is all over. I hope he belongs in jail for what he's done. I'd make sure my family had good jobs with benefits. My cabinet would be my closest friends. I'd eliminate all the heathens and degenerates. And we'd party as if it were the end. Americans were putting Mexican children in cages and separating them from their parents. That to me, and it's a black mark on a history of our country that we will never be able to rid ourselves of. We should be ashamed as Americans and we should be doing everything we can do to make sure that nothing like that ever happens again in our name with our money. And I would drive a fire engine everywhere I went if I were president. In the video, and in the song, there's mention of like driving a fire engine everywhere I went and things in that song have been playing out to uh, be surprisingly and disappointingly accurate, trying to grab as much power for themselves so they can make money. That's nothing new, you know. We the people of this land have come together to take a stand against the forces of fear and greed that are threatening our democracy one we are the people too we are united three we are not scared we are not tired one we are the people too we are united three we're marching and we're all on fire we who struggle to keep our feet while senators the of CEOs and money friends whose generosity knows no ends. One, we are the people, two, we are united, three, we are not scared, we are not tired. One, I think it's the responsibility of good citizens to question the actions of their government especially in a democracy. We're responsible for our, the actions of a country in our democracy, allegedly. If we're just living our lives and watching our big screen televisions and eating food from all around the world that gets delivered to us, you know, in our grocery stores and driving our SUVs, then we're complicit unless we do something about it. We are not scared, we are not tired, one. We are the people too. We are united three, we're marching and we are on fire. One, we are the people too. We are united three, we are not scared, we are not tired. One, we are the people too. We are united three, we're marching and we are on fire. One, we are the people too. We are united three, we're marching and we are on fire. The founding fathers were, were brilliant. They really were. But I think more than 200 years later, I think it's okay to review some of their original ideas and, and, and react accordingly. They had no idea that climate change was possible, you know, so I think they'd be okay with taking certain actions to save the entire world, you know. Wish it got weird in 2016. I should have listened to the songs that the Twitter birds sing. When the cops want it all, I should have took it as a sign that we were clearly
The Roman Empire, a peaceful period where Rome was just in, in charge and they were doing well. Uh, I think that was about 400 years. And we're not even close to that as an American democracy. So I certainly don't think it'll go on forever. We could be, we could be at the end of the American experiment. I don't know if we are, but I don't think it's absurd to think that we might be. Since you guys are in Netherlands, uh, I thought I would do a song. This one's called, it's about Vincent van Gogh, my good friend, Vincent van Gogh. Except I don't pronounce it right, right? Americans say van Gogh and, and the Dutch say van Gogh, right? They'll be awful sorry when they all find out that they were wrong about you all along over love and mistook cast aside let us stray most of my songs are about like existential angst you know i was probably complaining about the fact that uh you know, and my music isn't widely known and, you know, you compare yourself to someone like Vincent van Gogh, it's, uh, you gain some perspective. To say, is van Gogh don't feel that way? Ooh. Still life with a loser. Like that's one I play for you about Van Gogh, you know, like that song is about like, Van Gogh was such a talented, uh, talented, amazingly gifted artist, you know, a once in a generation type of artist and he died virtually unknown. And, you know, every once in a while when I'm, you know, having my own pity party here for myself, I, I try to, gain some perspective. Van Gogh don't feel that way. Ooh. If I were president, I'd try not to piss off the CIA. Look what they did to JFK and MLK and RFK. I really believe that the average Trump voter is fighting for almost the exact same things that the average, you know, Biden voters. We all want the same things. We just want to be safe and happy and healthy. And I would say try to try to put yourself in that other person's shoes and try to look at things from their perspective before you dismiss them. Because that's what they're doing to you. And the more we do that, it's just going to... We need more communication out there. If I were president If I were president I'd send the elephants back to Africa Where they all could get some... I don't know. I'm, I'm waiting for the aliens to come down and just kind of start over. I don't know. I think we've lost our ability. We're going to get our... Our parents are going to come down and take over and send us to our room. And I've run tickets to 